Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to talk about lesson number 11, uh, the most powerful self-talk. I'm the luckiest person in the world because I'm still alive. I'm the most powerful person in the world because I believe in myself. Uh, I'm the most intelligent person in the world because I love learning. I'm the most energetic person in the world because I'm crazy about exercising. I'm the most attractive person in the world because I love myself. I'm the happiest person in the world because I appreciate everything in life. I'm whatever I believe I create my belief uh, and my belief creates my wonderful life. That's in number 12. Uh, for a single authentic beautiful sentence, I will judge the sentence 100 times. I will listen to the sentence 100 times. I will write the sentence 100 times. I will talk with myself 100 times. I hope this touches for one useful meaningful status, but at least I know I will have mastered this sentence totally. I have the determination to tell 100 times. I have the passion to listen to the tip 100 times. I have the motivation to write 100 times. I have the devotion to talk to myself 100 times. I hope this touches for one useful meaningful status, but at least I know I will have mastered this sentence. That's number 13, I'm Vietnamese. I'm Vietnamese. I'm an international Vietnamese. I'm from Vietnam. I'm from a great nation. I love my country. I love my people. I enjoy using voice. I enjoy speaking English. I want to communicate easily. I want to communicate with the world. I want to change my life. Let's practice English closely. Let's master English my Vietnamese struggle. Let's just do it right here, right now. That's number 14. I will make it. So I'm not the smartest person person in the world, so I'm not the most talented person on earth, I firmly believe I will succeed, I keep working hard, I keep practicing English crazily, I keep telling English every spare minute, I keep pushing myself mentally, emotionally and physically, I keep making progress every single day, I keep telling myself I will make it, I have, I have total confidence in myself, I stumble my dream, I will eventually come true. That's number 15, my wealth. I can't stand my poor English. I can't stand my life campus. I can't stand my years of work time. I want to improve my situation. I want to change my life. I don't want to let uh, my parents down. Most importantly, I don't want to let myself down. I want to speak perfect English. I want to understand all kinds of sense. I want to write beautiful articles. I want to read thousands of books. I want to translate freely between Vietnamese and English. I want, to be two, I want to be the master of the world's two most important languages, Vietnamese and English. I want to be truly bilingual. I want to be an international success. Lesson number 16 is so me. Thank you for inviting me to eat this much with this time. Please let me pay the bill. You can treat me next time with it. It has been my dream to be true. I really enjoy this meal. I really enjoy speaking with you. Thank you for your time. We should meet every week and eat dinner together. Lesson number 17, English and Vietnamese. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the difference between English and Vietnam. English is very different from Vietnamese. The sounds are different, the grammar is different, and the writing is totally different. It's very, it's very, difficult, to, it's very, it's very difficult to speak English well. If you want to speak English well, you must forget about the difference. Just practice correct sentences until you are used to them. The more sentences you can burst out, the better you can express yourself. If you believe in yourself and ask and practice crazily every day, you will make it. You conquer English. Vietnam is the most difficult language in the world. If you can speak Vietnamese, you can speak English. Lesson number 18. English is the international language. English is very different, it's very widely used. It is spoken by people in England, the United States, Australia, India, and many other countries all over the world. It is one of the work, it is one of the working languages at international meetings. Most international business letters are written in English. Thousands of books and magazines are written in English too. If you know English, you find you can enjoy so many more books. English is really a bridge to so much knowledge. If you master English, you master the world. If you change yourself, you change the world. That's mine, and the world will, will laugh with you. If you cry, you just have to cry alone. That's number 19, memorizing words. Many people tell me that it is very hard to remember new words. 
They company, they complain that no matter how hard they try to memorize new words, they always forget them. The best way to remember new words is to practice them every day. Practice them in standards and parallels. Listen to tips and read along every day. Otherwise, you will forget easily. If you need my help, please call me. We are friends. Friends help each other. Let's conquer new words together. Let's change people in my family. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a little bit about my family. I have a very happy family. My dad is a great man. He has a fantastic job. My mom is a wonderful woman. She has many outstanding talents. My family loves me. My family supports me in good times and bad times. The happy family would have is my mom and dad always tell me if I want to succeed, I need to have good, good habits. We practice speaking English together every morning. We have dinner together every night. We talk about our problems. We share our joys. We exercise together. We relax together. The atmosphere in my family is fantastic. As number 21, my first trip to America. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got back from America yesterday. This was my first visit to America. I'd like to say a few words about a few words about my first trip. Everything was new and fresh. I got up early to exercise in the park. I visited many interesting places. I met a lot of interesting people. I felt a little nervous. But I still talked to people. They were very friendly and helpful. I had a great first impression of the American people. This trip was the first time I had to use English in real life. My English was not perfect, but I survived. The more I used English, the easier it became. I'm still working very hard on my English. You know, practice makes perfect. Next time I go to America, I will feel nervous at all. Lesson 22 makes society better. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about a simple way that we can work together to make society better. We must always remember that every person is important. It doesn't matter if you know a person or if he is a total stranger. Every person is somebody's mother, father, sister or brother. We must never look away when we see someone suffer. We must never feel another person doesn't matter. We must never say it too much about them. We should offer help unconditionally. If we want to live together in harmony, we must learn to treat every single person as our own mother, father, sister or brother. This is a way to truly make our society stronger and better. As a chapter 3 of Vietnam US Relations. Ladies and gentlemen, America is a great country. Vietnam is a great country. Vietnam and America have a long history together. Now is the right time to be an even closer and stronger relationship. Vietnam is inviting more and more experts from America to share their knowledge. At the same time, America is welcoming more and more talent, talented Vietnamese to study and work in America. Both countries can get a great deal from each other. America and Vietnam should keep working together to be a peaceful and bright future. Let's not change the fall, face perils and challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to have this opportunity to talk to you. Solving problems is a top priority for government officials. We are not afraid of problems, we constant problems to be challenges. We have lost comfort in our ability to solve any problem. With your support and standing, we can do a great job together. Thank you for your cooperation. If you have any problems, stop by our office. As in 25, I want to change my life. I work extremely hard every day, but I'm very tired. I need to work smarter, not harder. I must find better ways to do my job. I must find more time to enjoy life. I know hard work is a part of, of everybody's life, but I work too hard. My work goes too far. My work is ruining my health. My work is killing me. Other people have time for fun, go to bars, go to parties. All I do is get my car and go to work every day. This life is too hard. I need to make a fresh start. Lesson 26 A How to Take Responsibility. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, tonight, uh, today I am going to talk about taking responsibility. It's always hard to miss something in your fault. In fact, people rarely say, It's all my fault. People always make excuses or say it is somebody else's fault. It is hard to 
solve problems because people like to blame others. The next time you make a mistake, take responsibility. According to words can make a big difference, try saying, it's all my fault. Lesson 27, the world is becoming smaller and smaller. Ladies and gentlemen, more and more foreigners are coming to Vietnam. More and more people around the world are starting to learn Vietnamese. More and more Vietnamese are starting to do business and travel around the world. The world is becoming smaller and smaller. That's why English is becoming more and more important in Vietnam. If we want to ensure a world future for Vietnam, we must practice English harder than ever before. Lesson 28, a good book is like a good friend. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to talk about books. A good book is like a good friend. You should read as many books as you possibly can. You shouldn't just stay with it. And you shouldn't just take a good look at book. You should read it carefully, again and again. There's a famous quote of a man who doesn't read books. Read books is about books of the man who can't read books. Make books to friends and let books take you around the world. Get book now and die into it. Let the wisdom of the books guide you through your life. Lesson 29 is in foot or foot. Ladies and gentlemen, today I don't have to talk about two words, foot and foot. I will never forget how shocked I was the first time I came to Vietnam. And my host asked me, do you like Vietnamese food? I was told that Vietnamese people like to eat all kinds of unusual food. But I never imagined that they ate their own people's food. Of course I replied, no I don't like it. But my host insisted that Vietnamese food is so delicious. You must at least try Vietnamese food. I told him that I would be glad to try Vietnamese peace food but not Vietnamese food. My host realized his mistake and we both, we both had a great laugh. I was so relieved that the premise was not a cultural difference, merely a case of bad pronunciation. Please take my advice and practice the correct pronunciation of food and food until you are sure this embarrassing situation would never happen to you. Lesson 30. Uh, how to speak fluent English. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe you all want to speak good English. Now let me tell you some, uh, now let me give you some advice. Don't be afraid of losing face. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Don't be afraid of practicing your English. Don't be ashamed of speaking poor English. Don't be ashamed of being leveled. Don't be ashamed of being stabbed. The only real shame is that you never open your mouth. The only way to learn English is to never be afraid and never be ashamed. It's never too late to make a change in your life. Don't be afraid. No pain, no gain. You can make it. You are great. Lesson 31. The importance of smiling. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I'd like to talk about the importance of smiling and kindness. Life is like a mirror. When you smile, people will smile back. When you treat other people kindly, they will treat you kindly in return. Try to spend one day smiling and being kind to everyone you meet. You will see a big difference in your life. If you keep on smiling and being kind, smiling and kindness will become your highest. If everyone tries to do this, the world would be a kinder, brighter and happier place. Start smiling right away. Lesson 32, the importance of choice. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you something very important today. I want to tell you that life is by choice. You can choose to be miserable or you can choose to enjoy life. You can choose to improve your health or you can choose to destroy it. I hope you make correct choice. I hope you choose to enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, enjoy your work and enjoy your everyday life. Life is a gift and we really should enjoy every minute of it. Enjoy the group of people you may trust. Enjoy your life. Lesson 33, the harm of smoking. Ladies and gentlemen, I should I like to talk about smoking. Smoking not only makes you smell terrible, it is also terrible for your health. If you smoke, everyone in your home is breathing in your secondhand smoke. Smoke makes your throat hurt, your teeth yellow and your lungs black. Smoking is also like a third money way. Each past cigarette you smoke uh, is really money going out in smoke. You are burning money with nothing to show for it. If you smoke, I hope you will try to give up this destructive habit. You will read to yourself and your family to live a healthy life. Lesson 34 How to pronounce English words correctly. 
Ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to talk about how to pronounce English words correctly. First, spell the word aloud, then read the word aloud according to the tip. Carefully imitate each sound, then shout out the word as loudly as possible. Lastly, five words sentence to this word. Think about what the word means in this sentence. If you follow this step, you will soon be proud of how well you can pronounce English words. Lesson 30, 35 How to Communicate Effectively. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the importance of clear communication. Clear communication means being able to really hear what someone, what someone is saying. You need to listen with your heart, not only your ears. Remember, you have two ears but only one mouth. That means you should listen more and speak less. Listening as well as speaking is absolutely necessary for clear communication. Good communication is not as easy as it appears. Practice hard work and years of practice. Thank you for being here and listening to my speech. Lesson 36 English Prison Special Oath. If you want to speak good English, you must enjoy losing voice. You must enjoy making mistakes. You must enjoy speaking broken English. You must enjoy being a leopard. You must enjoy being a lonely hero. Good English speakers are the real treasure of our country. Lesson 30, uh, 37 Carrying with the word more beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about care. The biggest problem facing the world today is a lot of care. People only care about themselves. They don't care about other people. They don't care about. Uh, uh, they don't even care about their family. They don't care about the environment. They don't care about their community. Most of all, they don't care about their country. I am here to encourage you to start caring. We all want to be treated fairly. We all want to be loved. We all want to be taken care of. We all need clean air to breathe. We all need clean water to drink. We all need green place to enjoy. We all share the same motherland. We all share the same emotions. Let's do our best to start caring more. As in 38, our success is up to you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be sure of success, you have to make sure that you study every day, that you improve yourself every day, that you progress every day, and that you work hard every day. Your success depends on your commitment. If you pour your heart and soul into what you do, you are sure to be successful. Lesson 39. How to be a good parent. Ladies and gentlemen, our mothers and both fathers, today I'd like to talk about how to be a good parent. Being a parent is the toughest job in the world. Parents should be patient. Parents should not should have their children grow. Parents should not push their children too much. Parents should always be proud of their children. Parents should love their children unconditionally. Remember, nobody is perfect. If you want your child to grow up healthy and happy, please remember this important and practical advice. Lesson 40. How to be a great family. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you need to, uh, boys and girls, today I want to talk about building a better family. Everyone, everyone wants a better family, but most people don't know how to create one. Here's some helpful tips, boys and girls. You need to behave, you need to be kind, you need to always try your best. You need to believe in yourself and believe in your family, in your parents. Your parents really want what is bad for you. Mothers and fathers, you need to be patient. You need to buy fewer things for your children and give them more of your time. You need to read more books to learn about being good parents. If your child sees you reading books, he will learn books too. He will learn books too. You need to bring your children by teaching them the value of hard work and by setting a good example. Children believe what they see more than what they are told. Be sure what your child what your child is seeing the behavior that you want him tomorrow. I believe that we can make our families, families, families better and stronger by working and learning together. Lesson 41. Value your time. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about time. Time is too precious to waste. Time is our great treasure. If you waste your time, you waste your life. Never waste one minute of your time or other people's time or other people's time. Get moving, get excited, take action. Do something to make you happy faster every day. Make the most of your time, make the best use of your time. Time is a gift. Don't waste a single minute. Listen, 42. How to live uh, productively. 
Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about how to live a productive life after it's given you to days without difficult or days if you doubt. Appreciate every day, learn something new every day, do something to improve yourself every day. Don't delay, don't let your dreams die, don't waste time, just do it. Uh, life, is sh- life is too short to waste even one single day. If you live every day fully and productively, you're about to succeed. Remember yesterday is a memory. Tomorrow is dream. Live for today. Lesson 43. Recipe for happiness. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about happiness. Where does happiness come from? It doesn't come from other, other people. It doesn't come from material things. It doesn't come from having a lot of money and power. It doesn't come from being popular. It comes from giving your best effort to everything. Uh, to everything you do. It comes from getting satisfaction from helping other people. It comes from growing smarter and wiser every day. The happiness you feel is equal to the love you give. The more you give, the happier you will be. Lesson 44, my favorite type of meal. My favorite food is fast food. It saves a lot of time. I don't care for fancy, I don't care for fancy dinners. I think people should forget about wasting time and uh, and, and money on expensive food. It really does matter if you eat expensive food or fast food as long as the food is nutritious. Lesson 45, beautiful Hano. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a very nice time here in Vietnam. There are many beautiful views, countless historical styles, and a variety of beautiful foods for you to enjoy. Vietnam is a great place to do business. Vietnam is a, great, is a wonderful place for vacation. I hope you will fall in love with Vietnam. I believe Vietnam is a fantastic place to visit and a marvelous place to live. If there is anything I can do for you, please let me know. I hope you will visit Vietnam again and again. Lesson for the sick farewell speech, I will miss Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sad that this speech is my farewell speech. Happy times always pass too quickly. My two years stay in Vietnam will come to an end soon. I will miss you, I will miss my students, I will miss all my friends, I will miss Vietnam, and of course I will miss Vietnamese food. I will come back to Vietnam as soon as I can. Thank you for making my stay a wonderful experience. Thank you for your hospitality. Most of all, thank you for your unparalleled friendship. Lesson 47, why exercise is important. Ladies and gentlemen, today I do not to talk about exercise. More and more people are starting to realize the benefits of exercise. Exercise is the only way to have a healthy body and a healthy mind. Exercise is the only way to lose weight. There are many kinds of exercise. It is easy to choose what that suits you. The important thing to remember is that exercise needs to be a part of your daily life. Please take care of your body and start an exercise program today. Physical health and mental health can both be improved with regular exercise. See the day, see the moment, see conscious of your health. Exercise for longer, healthier life. Thanks for your attention. Lesson 48, my wishes. Ladies and gentlemen, I have many wishes. I wish people all over the world would love each other more. I wish people would stop wasting energy. I wish people would be less selfish. I wish people would uh, share happy feelings more freely and not keep their emotions shut up inside. I wish that people could find cures for cancer and AIDS. In short, I wish that the world could be a better place. Thank you for letting me share all my wishes with you. Lesson 49. The dangers of TV. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about television and how dangerous it is for children. Children today want to watch television. Television is helpful to developing minds. Children usually watch far more television than their parents realize. Children sh- uh, should only watch television when there, are, when there is an educational program showing or on special occasions. It is a terrible habit to just casually turn on the television and leave it on for hours at a time. Remember when you switch on the television, you are switch off your child's mind, make a wider season and limit your child's television time. Lesson 50, the three most important piece of advice. Ladies and gentlemen, there are three things I want to talk about today. The first thing is think before you speak, say positive things, don't hurt other people with words. The second thing is uh, treasure every breath, 
our life be precious. We should not take anything for granted. We must be thankful for every breath. I would say the first thing is nothing is impossible. You could think you can, you can. Never doubt yourself. You can do anything. These three things have helped me throughout my life. Lesson 51 Parents are the most important teachers. Fathers and mothers are the children's for teachers. What they say and what they do determine whether their children will be successful or not. Fathers and mothers should be neither to trick nor to indulge them. It has to be a good parent. That's why fathers and mothers should always study the, together the best way to raise a child. Lesson 52 Reading properly. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to have you uh, learn some of the most common greetings in English. Of course, they are the basic hello. There are so many questions such as how are you? How are you doing? Uh, how is everything? How is it going? All of these, all of these greetings are informal, um, are informal and very common in American English. In British English, it is more common to hear how do you do. If you are confused by all of this information, don't worry, uh, you can always, you will always just say hi, a happy smile, and a comfort how you friends anywhere you go. Don't worry, just open your mouth and practice, you can master English, have fun. Lesson 53, turning right from wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the importance of knowing right from wrong. It is important to always do the right thing. Martin Luther King said, the time is always right to do the right thing. These words are really true. You should always do to do the right thing. Even if it's harder than the wrong thing, you should also encourage everyone around you to do the right thing. Be honest, be fair, be kind. The right, the right thing to do is always very simple to understand, but sometimes very hard to do. Let's help each other, remind each other, and encourage each other to do the right thing. Lesson 34, Splendid Motherland. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm from Vietnam. I'm Vietnamese. I'm Vietnam. I'm proud of my country and I'm proud of being Vietnamese. Vietnam has changed tremendously in the past 20 years. Vietnam has become a member of the world community. Vietnam is changing every day. Vietnamese people are embarrassing changes. Vietnamese people are also facing many challenges now. We are eager to learn from the world. I am here today to learn from you. I'm so we will learn very much from each other. Thank you very much for your help, for your attention. Thank you very much for your giving me the chance to speak to you today. Lesson 53, the importance of work. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about jobs. If you want to succeed, you must find a love with the job. You must enjoy your job. You don't change your attitude and just think of the job as a bird. You are not going to do any job well. Every job is important, no matter how small it may be. Every job can teach you something. Every job can contribute to society. Uh, be proud of your job. Do it well. Learn to enjoy your job and you will enjoy your life much more. Remember, if you enjoy your job, you will never work a day in your life. Lesson 56, what is more important than money? Ladies and gentlemen, today I decide to, uh, to make a small speech about family. I have a question to ask all of you. What is the most important thing in your life? I know many, many, of, many of you will say money is the most important, but I want to tell you, but I want to tell you many things are most important than money in life. It seems that most people don't realize this. Family, health, and happiness are much more important than money. Without family, health, and happiness, money means nothing. Make sure you remember these important and important lessons and spend and spend time with your family. People who spend more time with their families are usually healthy and happier. Precious minutes of family time are worth more than money. Make your family your first priority. Lesson 57. A brief introduction to Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to give you a short introduction about Vietnam. Vietnam has a large population, colorful people, and vast land. Vietnam land covers 9.6 million square kilometers. There are so many, many languages spoken in Vietnam. Vietnam people are Vietnam people love learning all kinds of things and are quality about learning English. The future of blues rights for Vietnam. Let's conquer English to show our love for our motherland. Thank you for listening.
Thank you for listening. That's number 58, uh, noise pollution. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to talk about noise, noise pollution. There are too much noise in our cities. In some cities, you can't even hear someone speaking next to you. Noise out is, our, is, hurting, uh, is hurting our health and hearing. We need to do something to reduce noise. We need new noise to punish companies in individuals who, uh, who make too much noise. Let's work together to reduce noise and create a more peaceful environment. Thank you very much for the attention. That's in 15, uh, 59. How to learn English well? Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about learning English. There are many, many ways to learn English. You can learn English through singing. You can learn English through reading. You can learn English through listening. You can learn English through writing. But the best way to learn English is through speaking, uh, speaking and reciting as, ma as many sentences as possible. The more sentences you can burst out, the better English you will speak. This is 60. Welcome to our hotel, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to our hotel. Our ho uh, I hope you eat well, sleep well, enter our service. Now let me tell you something about our hotel. Our hotel is old. It is uh, is the oldest in the city. It has a long history. Many famous people have stayed in our hotel. Although our hotel is old, it was recently remote. I'm sure you will agree. Our hotel is beautiful as well as comfortable. We warmly welcome welcome you to come back again and again. Have a lovely stay here. That's all about my lesson. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.